Hello vineyards, here's Kuhn, another warm welcome to you for this uh, online service. Um, I think we're gonna be stuck with doing online services for a while, unfortunately. Uh, we all know what's going on in the world, uh, but I'm again so happy that we have modern technology so we can stay connected, so we can do church together. Um, We've got another message from you, this time by Ernst Bodemer. Uh, we're linking you to some worship songs that I feel are appropriate for today. And Antonia will lead us in the time of prayer. So I hope you enjoy today's uh, online church experience. We cannot meet as uh, home groups at the moment, social distancing. Um, but you can, of course, uh, meet online together. So what I encourage you to do is after uh, doing this service by yourself at home or maybe with a few friends in your student house or with your family, um, reflect on the message, reflect on what, uh, what it brought up and maybe connect online with some others and talk about it. Uh, keep connecting. I want to encourage you to keep connecting during this time. Hey, we're still in, uh, in South Africa, but we're flying back uh, uh, tomorrow on Monday. Uh, so we look forward to be with you again, although be with you, I guess, virtually, but at least be in the same country, be in the same situation. Hey, I want to lead you in a quick time of, uh, of prayer. Um, as you may know, uh, uh, the coronavirus is a big thing here in South Africa now as well. That's why we have to leave the country a bit earlier. Um, and throughout this whole time, I've been thinking, God, what do you want to do um, through this whole situation in the whole world, in the whole Western world, this is now uh, popping up left and right. It's, it's got a huge impact uh, uh, on our personal lives, on uh, a global scale, on the economy. Uh, what are you doing? What do you want to do in the midst of this? And I think um, there's a lot going on in the world. There's, there's uh, of course, there's the fear, uh, and we have a Christian answer to that with faith and hope and love. Um, but I want to go a little bit further than that. Like, God, what is God doing on a global scale? Uh, is he maybe pausing the world for a while to stand still and reflect? Um, is he maybe, um, does he want to restore the beauty of nature as what you see around the world? I, I heard that people in Wuhan uh, can now see blue skies again and that uh, uh, the waters in Venice are now clear again. Uh, is that maybe something that God is doing? Um, but I first want to encourage you to, re to maybe uh, answer that question in your personal life. Now that uh, your life is, is sort of put on hold, I know that all the uh, lectures are put on hold at the university, uh, most of our jobs are, are sort of put on hold, or at least we have to work from home. So our lives are sort of put on hold. Everything that we plan to do in 2020 is more or less not happening. Ask the question, Lord, what are you doing in this time? What do you, what do you want to do in me? What do you want to do through me? Uh, maybe let's first answer that question for ourselves this week and then next week uh, we'll take some time to reflect on what Lord what do you want to do in our church in this time and through our church in this time. I want to lead you in a quick prayer uh, based on uh, Psalm 139 uh, where the last couple of verses say uh, search my heart O Lord and know my thoughts test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. Maybe that's a great prayer to be praying right now. And I wanna lead you in a time of prayer and reflection at this moment um, as we invite God to search our hearts. And after that, uh, the YouTube channel will link you to, uh, to worship songs that also connect with that. There's also an invitation to God to work in us. Uh, and then Ernst will lead us in a, in a message. And after that, there will be a time of prayer. So Lord, we invite you right now. Search us. Know our hearts. Test us and know our anxious thoughts. Lord, if we're, we can put on Facebook and Instagram and share with others that we're not scared, that we're not anxious, but Lord, maybe there's some anxiety in us. Uh, maybe not even to get the virus, but to how this whole thing is gonna impact our lives, what's gonna happen now, how this is gonna impact our year and our future. Lord, we invite you to search us and to point out anything in us that is not from you, any fear that is not from you. Fear is not from you. Lord, we invite you to come with your love and to point out anything in us that is not from you, anything that maybe offends you, uh, areas in our lives where we don't trust you, where we haven't invited you into. Lord, we pray, will you come now, 
and search us and work in us. Amen.